So this is what Europeans think Black Friday looks like in America. What? What are you talking about? That that's that's exactly how it looks. Welcome back, you lovely degenerates. We're doing a little bit of Tumblr today. That's gonna be fun. And also, stay tuned because uh, Mini Oz has a special announcement to make. <laughs> Hey, Fallout 4 players can romance companions! Um... Use a different photo! Ah, refreshing. 0% better. M me? After my 15 minute break at work? My teacher. You can't use Wikipedia as a source, it's not reliable. Me, who who edited the Karl Marx anime article to say he was in divorce and had it changed back within 10 minutes. Chaos Contera! <laughs> rock picture! Rock picture! Rock picture! <laughs> I think that's the right one. Hey, hey guys, so, so do werewolves have toe beans? Of course they have toe beans. What else do you suck on? Okay, so if there is a god, mine is surely a trickster, giving me the miracle of sight and of comprehension, only for me to be cursed to use it on what you just said. How write a book? Kind of like that, but but more. Oh, oh no. You know. Uh, I truly go into housewife mode when I'm someone's girlfriend. Like, I will make you pancakes and bacon every morning and suck you up whenever you want. This, okay, okay, okay. This is a lie. I am literally dating this girl. This is a lie. She don't even know how to cook a pancake. What is this? Boomer humor, I hate my wife. Millennial humor, I hate my life. Gen Z humor. It is the time to rejoice. Behold! The cheese to Catherine Dern! Boomer? Classicalism, man versus man. Millennials, modernism, man versus self. Gen Z, postmodernism, man versus reality. <sighs> There's a second wave of surrealism and it's, it's Gen Z memes. Hey, are you like an R pirate or like a yo ho ho pirate? I'm the, I'm the I'm not paying $600 for Photoshop kinda, kinda pirate. Bad jokes by Jeff. First day as a pilot. Me, looking down nervously. What are all these buttons for? Go pilot, they keep your shirt closed. Okay, OP, we've we've talked about your URL. Sponsored content. Apply garlic to a freshly opened cut or burn to immediately intensify the pain. Could this hack actually help someone? Learn more! <laughs> <laughs> Tumblr, I am literally begging you to let me reblog your sh post ads. If you're cold, they're cold. Put them in the microwave. Maybe, uh, maybe you put yourself in the microwave. Are you fucking stupid? You have the mentality of a nine year old, and so everyone reblogging this sh. How can you people find this funny? What the f***? Hey! The ants won't f*** you, bro. Horror game. Out of nowhere. By the way, you, uh, you hold shift to run. M me? We're looking for whatever the f*** prompted that info. Hi, sisters! <laughs> Okay, so the intersecting needs of Christian's children's cartoons to make all biblical figures both painfully average looking white people and as unsexualized as possible creates a hellish world where all of humanity is descended from two John Arbuckles. Hey John, 
Stop boning your ribcage, Dad. <laughs> See, I, on the other hand, want a children's cartoon based upon the Old Testament angels. Look at that. Actually, wait, that's Evangelion. Never mind. Never mind. Cancelled. <laughs> oh my god. It's literally Evangelion. Alright, let me just explain this picture up here. In 1930, Helen Adelaide Shelby patented an apparatus for obtaining criminal confessions. The police put the suspect into a darkened chamber where they are confronted by a human skeleton with glowing red eyes that questions them with a voice transmitted from the interrogator behind it through a megaphone in its mouth. A camera concealed in the skull was to record the confessions. Um... What? Mm, yes! Yes! Confess your sins! Confess your sins to the crime skeleton! <laughs> now it's time to confess your skins to the crime skeleton! Skins? I just say skins, confess your skins. <laughs> Consider me rattled. Me. I love you, but please, please do not step on my keyboard. Go a foot out of your way and, and go around. My lovable yet ungrateful cat. A trouble girl and a, a fiend. You could sooner divert a river from its course than deny my nature. What a fucking raw line. You know, Team Rocket is the ultimate symbol of solidarity between a gay man and a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> what what a god's name is me up wearing <laughs> I want him as an avatar sprite. He's their straight friend. As celebration for hitting 500k, I have a special announcement to make. Coughing sounds. Hello my fellow lovely degenerates. In order to fund our campaign against the mischievous mole people. Hey, 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 we're so clever, hey, hey. Oh, fuck, we're busted. Vigilance, brothers. Always vigilance. We now have plushie versions of me to help protect you from their shenanigans. One plushie sold as one mole person sent to the gulag. Act fast before it's too late. There's a limited time to get your own mini Oz plushie to help keep those hex at bay. A link will be in the comments and description below in order to help wage this campaign. Also, it is super super soft. Like, hot heck. Look how cute it is. Every time I look at the mystery gang, I have like this visceral feeling that someone is missing, but nobody ever is. Who are they? What, what happened to them? Logically, I know this is them. These are the only people in the mystery gang. Fred, Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby. That's the five of them. But, but something deep within my lizard brain is telling me there's a sixth member that has been, for unknown reasons, banished from it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> for unknown reasons, banished from this timeline in our collective memory of the city. <laughs> Bad! No! You cannot say the name of he who shall not be named. Like, hey Scoob, dig the poison on that chick. It's so awful. <laughs> I tried really hard to do the shaggy voice, but... <laughs> hey Scooby-Doo, what the fuck? The fact that Puss was just slaying for face at the time doesn't even make it better because Shaggy still pointed at Frankenstein's wife, standing right there and loudly called her, not just ugly, but ugly enough to be humorous to him. <laughs> oh no! Shaggy said, Boo! We hate your boysy! <laughs> <laughs> I love this! Look at them! They're all angry! Big eyes! Oh god, I just... I love black cats. They're just... Ugh. Shapeless voids that just have eyes. They're great. It's fun to draw cats when you don't know cat anatomy. I mean, they look normal to me. Cats don't know what anatomy is either. If you need walls and a floor, you ain't a real camper.
Welcome to my crib. If you don't like it, leave. Jesus Christ, this is like hell. My kind of first date. Bottom text. I had I had a dream that the new meme was ultralight camping elitism, and all you do is post pictures of bare minimum camping setups and talk about how cool you are for being able to survive in that. Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, Loki, and and f***ing it, man. <laughs> hey, tech most powerful magic users. <laughs> Only one of these characters survived Thanos. Guys, can you guys guess, guess which one did? <laughs> the cheap Halloween vampire fangs stay on during sex. The cheap vampire fangs stay on during sex. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, so just kind of a quick throw out there. The number 87 kind of looks like a plague doctor. Holy shit. You've changed the fucking game. Oh. Oh, now I see it. Oh, that's fucking cool. I like that. Look, starfish feeding on a dead whale. Y y you know, I've never been scared of starfish until this moment. Look at that creepy tall dancing one. Look at him. Yes! Yes, my darlings! Feed! Feed to your heart's content! Feast! Feast on what is rightfully ours! Feast! Thrive! Soon! Soon we will conquer all! Me to my anxiety. Can you like calm down? These people don't even think about you, ever. Well, wait, 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 wait. That no, no, no. That that's not what I meant. If they can fucking these, you can breathe in this. Uh, this is the worst way to make this argument. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Um. So. <sighs> Someone please help me. I dragged this picture of an old man, but my computer froze and now he's stuck there. No matter what webpage I go to, and, and I feel like his ghost is just judging my choices. It's Judge Rudy have a transparent image. Judge Rudy watches and judges your search history. He knows all. Especially the hacking hack stuff you've been googling. Don't think I don't see that. You hack with three C's. <laughs> Not, not recommended. 0 0.6 hours on record. Mario the plumber gets into trouble yet again when he crashes into the ocean. You, you have to plumb stuff. I, I don't really know what happens after that. I got scared. This is a review of Bioshock. <laughs> okay, rip, rip, rip. I, I can never interact with my neighbor again. Holy fuck. Okay, I was outside with my cat just now, and he went behind his shrub for a bit. And and me, not realizing my neighbor was on the other side of that same shrub, <laughs> poked my head around and said way <laughs> louder than necessary, My scrumptious darling boy, whatever are you doing? <laughs> 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 that is 40 something man I very rarely speak to handle it with a remarkable grace and very tentatively responded oh what watering my roses you man okay so 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 all right why is it that from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. water enters a state where it is so much better in every way because you are tired, your higher brain functions shut down, leaving only your ancient fish brain. It likes the splash. Can't confirm, had like two glasses of water in one sitting, and it was the sh. You have pleased your brain, fish. Hey, so what is a gender neutral word you could use for spouse? Like, husband, wife, wife, spit. Oh, I. I may be stupid. So, 
So having a post like this blow up really makes me feel like a lowly jester who, having made a suitable funny, has created an uproar in the royal hall with the diplomats and aristocrats belly laughing demanding more, more, as they throw firecrackers at my feet. U.S. News! Americans are the unhappiest they've been in 50 years! Study finds... Oh, so hashtag Roblox down. Hmm, I wonder what got them to start this study. Was it the protests? The quarantine? The fact that most of us won't be able to afford a home, to retire, to travel? Ever? Or was it the murders, the pandemic, the natural disasters, the human disaster that is the government right now? Of course we're f***ing unhappy! No, it, it's because Roblox is down, dumbass. Some time ago, in 2020, it's gonna be 420 for a whole month. Hell yeah, mother. Touches the ground. This, a relic, a relic of a more hopeful time. Fun statistics for adults. When I was a kid, I had no help with college tuition. I was hard working and paid it all myself. I'd add... <laughs> Annual tuition for Yale, 1970, $2,550. Annual tuition for Yale, 2014, $45,800. Minimum wage, 1970, $1.45. Minimum wage, 2014, $7.25. Now, let's keep going. Daily hours of minimum wage needed to pay for tuition in 1970. For Yale, was five hours a day. Now what about, uh, what about modern day in 2014? It's, uh, it's 17.3 hours. See, and that was in 2014. It is, it is much higher now. So, yeah. Cold butter, you can't defeat me. My toast, I know, but he can. Microwaving the knife. <laughs> I think it's funny how the last panel is a pretty good representation of what would happen. You know what? You're right. They should have made a joke about that. Today I learned that until the mid 20th century, golf clubs were not numbered, but had wonderfully funny names. <laughs> Brassies, Niblex, Baffies, Mashies, Jiggers, Spoons, and Gleeks. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Wanna hear the seven new slurs for British people <laughs> I just came up with? <laughs> hey, uh, I really should stop using the password I created in the fifth grade for every account I ever make ever. My Neopets account and bank account have the same password. So today I learned that the Greek mathematician Hippasus discovered irrational numbers. According to one version, he told his shipmates, Pythagoreans, who then threw him overboard and he drowned. What the f is an irrational number? Bitch, I'm gonna kill you! Hippasus' shipmates. Okay, so th this is actually better than, than like you think it is. The guy, like, okay, so basically, there was a Greek cult called the Pythagoreans, which is why we have the Pythagorean theorem, etc., etc. And they were just doing a bunch of math sh like a bunch of nerds, because they literally worship math. And Hippasus was trying to find the square root of two, because, you know, they were doing the Pythagorean theorem, it involves roots and sh**. The lad was trying to do the root of two, realized it just kept going and going, went and told Pythagorean, and they fucking tied bricks to his feet and pushed him off the edge of the, the, the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Mathematicians are brutal. Thank you for making it this far into the video. I really appreciate that. As you probably saw, there's a plushie available in the description as well as the comment section below. So if you want one, go pick one up before time runs out because there will not be a second batch. I will also be having the 500k live stream on the 21st of September around probably 2 p.m. Pacific time. On top of that, the mini Oz special will still be happening. So no worries, that's still in the works. Anyways, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all next time.